Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my detailing car and the different supplies and just a quick tour of it. So this is it, a Honda CRV. I'm looking into getting a van currently, not a commercial van, but just like a Toyota Senna, Sienna or something like that. Kind of like a family car, but this is it, just a basic Honda, older Honda CRV. Not too much to it, but I'll show you guys kind of what I have in it and how we use it to detail cars. So we mainly just use the two seats to ride in. Ethan sits there, I drive. Um, we keep the concentrated. We only have two of these big concentrated um, detailing things. We have, I just got this carpet bomber for upholstery and carpets because we have to shampoo carpets a lot and upholstery. So that's really nice to have. I already have been going through it really fast, but this works really well. PNS double black. Rennie Doyle collection. Definitely suggest it. So I just keep this in the glove, or not glove box, box, but the compartment there. Fits perfectly. And otherwise, this is pretty much just where we keep our fast food and water bottles during the day while we're working. I have some gloves down here, rubber gloves in case we have to take out any trash or cars are really dirty in case we don't want to touch the car with our bare hands. Um, back here we have our large canopy, which goes all the way from the front to the back, back to front. And then we have our clean towels, in case of clean towels. And then if I can get it over here, we have our dirty towels, the same bin, just one for clean towels and then one for dirty towels. And then uh, under here, a garden hose, so we can connect up to the DI tank, which makes it so we have a spot free of water when washing cars or washing mats. And then it's kind of dark, but a trash bag for trash and just other stuff. Scratches to remove scratches from cars. That's what this is too. Both of these are to remove scratches when we're buffing and stuff like that can't see at all but knee pads here knee pads over there also the deionizer di tank for spot free water so towels di tank garden hose and then knee pads and then the canopy and then i do have a chem chemical guys bucket but i never really bring that with me just because we don't have a lot of space and we have a pressure washer which we mainly used when washing cars and for any stuff with water. So I just always use the pressure washer. So here's the back in the trunk. Here's the second concentrated item chemical we have. It's the all-purpose cleaner by 3D. Um, works really well. Again, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I'll just put it down here couple of these things attachments for the drill brush I'm gonna wash those tonight and then the shop vac I just got this one because my old one broke down but this one's I think like five horsepower something it the suction on it's really strong it works really well the weird thing is if you don't have one of these kind like when you use this specific one this hose on the end the nozzle turns while you're vacuuming so if you're thinking about getting this one, you kind of have to get used to that. But after a week or two, you'll get used to it pretty fast. I've already gotten used to it. And then back here, we have a McCulloch steam cleaner. I've had that ever since I started my detailing business for about two years now. Worked really well. Still hasn't broken down. And then a Bissell, I'm not sure what kind, but a small Bissell steam cleaner. Or not steam cleaner, a uh, extractor. A little Green Pro extractor. Works really well. I just got that a couple of weeks ago. And then a Ryobi pressure washer, electric pressure washer. I'm not totally sure what model, but yeah. 1900 PSI, 1 1.2 GPM. Works very well. It's actually kind of broken at the moment. I think the, I don't know, right here, the gun is jammed. I don't know why, but yeah. 
And right here, I just got this in today, so it looks shiny and brand new, but the chemical guys bag organizer, I don't know, what, whatever you want to call it, but this bag thing, which is really helpful, just makes it so we can carry multiple things when detailing cars and helps us stay organized with all the different chemicals and brushes and stuff like that that we have so we can have it all in one bag at a time. And then here's my, here's my drill brush. It works really well. The only thing, I've had this for a long time. I got it from my dad. He just gave it to me because he never used it. So we've had it for a really long time. The only thing is the battery always falls out. So we, I just have to duct tape it whenever I use it for the day. So I charge up the battery. And then before the day starts, I just duct tape the battery in so it doesn't fall out. So there's that, but that's it. Otherwise, it works really well. Um, funnel for pouring liquids into when we're diluting. And then there's this Makita. We don't have an air compressor, but we just use this instead. It's nowhere near the same, but air compressor. We don't really have room for an air compressor at all, but this Makita definitely helps a lot and just helps to, like, we use it a lot to cool each other down and just helps to blow around dust and stuff. And then lastly, we have an extension cord which helps to, obviously it helps to connect to power and it's a hundred feet, so that's really nice. Without that, I don't know what we'd do. That's definitely crucial. If you have a detailing business, you definitely have an extension cord, but if you want to start one, that's definitely one of the first steps you're gonna have to go through. An extension cord, vacuum, and I guess that's pretty much it. And I would say one of these as well. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe, do whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.